Hi, boys and girls. We're going to go ahead and get started on OG this beautiful snowy day. And we're going to begin by writing the letter G, lowercase g. I think kids often find the lowercase g to be a little difficult. It's basically just like writing a lowercase a. The only difference is when you hit that bottom line, you keep going below it. And then you curve under the circle. So let's go ahead and make those. G, goat, g. 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 All right, next to the rectangle, we're going to write the letter A. A, apple, app. Now the letter G. G. Goat G. Now the letter N. N nest N. Now the letter S. S snake S. Next to the circle, let's write the sound E, E, edge, E. Now write the sound W, W, wagon, W. Now write the sound A. Uh. U up uh. Now write the sound J J jam J Next to the square write the first sound in the word itch I, itch, I. Now write the first sound in the word queen. Q, U, queen, qua. Now write the first sound in the word Chair. C. H. Chair. Ch. Now write the first sound in the word ship. S. H. Ship. Ch. Next to the triangle, we're going to be writing the last sound. What is the last sound in the word nap? Nap. P. N. A. P. P. Now write the last sound in the word Cod, cod, that's a type of fish, cod. D, dog, d, 
k a d d Now write the last sound in the word pet. Pet. T. Top. Oops. Now write the last sound in the word man. Man. In nest down by the diamond, we're going to write our word family uck. U C K uck. U C K Uck U C K Uck Now we're going to do our first spelling word. Spelling word number one, duck. The duck said quack, duck. D, uck, duck. Spelling word number two, luck. It takes a little luck to do things well. Luck. 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 Number three, puck. The skater hit the hockey puck. Puck. When you play hockey, the round black thing that they hit is called a puck. 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 Number four. Yuck. When I saw the trash on the side of the road, I said, yuck. 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 Sorry, guys, I don't guess I erased everything from yesterday. All right, our spelling word today is your. Remember that your is the same as you with an R on it. Y-O-U-R, your. Y-O-U-R, your. Y-O-U-R. Your Y O U R your <clears throat> excuse me. Don't forget after you've written all four of those to cover them and try to write it without looking. See if you can remember it in your brain. Y O U R your K 
Okay, our first review memory word, our review popcorn word is when. W H E N when. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our next one is this. T H I S this. All right, our sentence today is yuck. That is bad. Say it with me. Yuck. That is bad. Say it to the sky. Yuck. That is bad. Say it to the floor. Yuck. That is bad. Can you write the first word in the sentence? Let's do it together. Don't forget capital letter at the beginning. Yuck. Now you may have noticed that in this sentence, after I say yuck, there's a small pause. Yuck, that is bad. That means that I sort of stop for a little tiny amount of time. When you are writing a sentence and you hear a small pause like that, you use something called a comma. And a comma is like a period with a tail. It's hard to draw them with this, so try to make it a little better. Now, I'm going to show a big one down here. It's a circle and it has a little tail. So, yuck. It's hard to make them smaller. All right, so I have my yuck and I have my comma. What is my next word? That. So space and that. The, the. That's that TH sound. The. At. Yuck. That. Space. Is. Yuck. That is, what's our last word? B -ad. All right, now I said, yuck, that is bad. Is this a telling sentence? An asking sentence? Or is it a sentence that shows a lot of emotion and feeling? Well, I would say it has a lot of emotion and feeling. So I'm going to use an exclamation point. That's a line with a dot under it. Yuck. That is bad. I'm going to write cops. Did I capitalize my first letter and use lowercase everywhere else? Yes, so I can check off the C for capitalization. You do it too. If you would have you, did you use the capital letters right? If you did, check yours off. Yuck, that is bad. My words are in the right order. Are they organized with spaces? Yes. Did I put my punctuation in there at the end? Yes. Now let me check my spelling. Yuck, yuck, that is bad. But yes, spelling looks good. All right, if you need to pause, go ahead and do so. But if not, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.